Today's Ask Reddit post. Doctors, what was the best excuse you've heard for someone having something stuck in their ass? Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one. Let's get started. Guy told me he was constipated so he stuck the broom handle up there to break up the poop. I almost believed him. Edit. It was half of a broom handle. Cut off and wrapped in electrical tape. All the way inside his ass. I'd believe that. People are stupid. I would believe that one because severe constipation is absolute hell. A college friend who is an or nurse said the best thing she ever witnessed was a small snow globe with the message world's greatest dad on the inside. Maybe he dishonored the title of world's greatest dad and this was somehow seen as the best punishment? Or someone got confused when he asked about involving daddy kink into their intercourse life? My mom was a nurse and always remembered the guy whose wife was out of town so he was cooking naked and slipped and fell on a potato. This is the second comment about a potato I've seen and I just don't get it. Carrot? Sure. I guess. Sweet potato? That's at least still a shape that makes sense. But a potato? Exactly. There's no handle on a potato and it's too short. Why on earth was that even an option? Fell down some stairs and someone left a dildo on the bottom. This made my day. Personally it would ruin my day. But it's good to see you can be optimistic. Not an excuse but a medic told me that they have contests about what is the most unexpected thing they pulled out of butts. The winner was a guy that put an electric Christmas decoration. The ones you wrap around the tree. In her own words the legend doesn't say whether he plugged it or not. I should have asked what the excuse was for that one. Saw someone with a remote control stuck way up in their colon. She said she was getting herself ready for anal intercourse with her boyfriend and then it got stuck. The kicker was that she showed up to the hospital with her boyfriend and her husband in tow. I am really curious as to how that conversation went. There's a strong overlap between kinky and polyamorous so I'm guessing they were both friendly to each other and concerned about her. A nurse. I tried to dig something out of my ass with a barbecue skewer. Skewer got stuck. Ripped a hole in his intestines. He waited so long to come and he was septic. One stat or visit and an IQ stay later. Please don't call my mom. Guy was tripping hard on LSD. Was there something a weasel? If so, username checks out hard. You know, I didn't even think to ask him what he was trying so desperately to dig out. Clever comment though. I took a walk outside and something just flew into my ass. Sir, we are still going to call ASPCA on you. The great blue heron is a protected species. You that one writing person. The great blue heron is a protected species. It's me and Red Dead Redemption 2. Haha. <laughs> Rifle go pew pew. When I was a student working in an OA guy came in with an unravealed wire hanger stuck and hooked up there. He said he was trying to fish out the vibrator he lost. Did you find the vibrator? Clear as day on the x-ray. Paramedic. Here. Had one guy tell me he slipped on a banana peel and landed on the upright vase on the floor. He then proceeded to produce a banana peel for good measure. Edit. My first gold and a couple other goodies. I'm really happy that you all enjoy a good laugh from my career this far. The fact that he genuinely had a banana peel made me laugh more than the entirety of this thread. Right? Imagine him hobbling off to the kitchen after the event. To make sure he had a prop for the doctors. There was a new story in my country. A man went to the ear and they discovered that he drunkenly put two hammerheads in his ass. His reasoning being that he ate a jar of preserved cherries with pits and then had abdominal pain and wanted to smash the pits. Took me a few seconds to realize you didn't mean tiny sharks. Same but I feel like a shark could have done a better job of breaking them down than an actually hammer. I stuck it up there on purpose and now it's stuck. Please help. It was a perfectly honest and valid reason for have something stuck up your ass. And we helped. No further questions needed. Now I'm interested how often that happens. I mean the honest answer. A. Maybe about 50 stroke 50 or so. It always boils down to the person accidentally sat on it. The best my dad saw. A former emergency doctor. 
was a young guy who accidentally sat on a giant tub of Vaseline. Accidentally. I asked how doctors record that in their patient files. And the common way to do so is to say the patient claims to have sat on X object. Edit. My dad's thrilled that his story has touched so many of you. Face with tears of joy. Guy came in with a cordless phone up his ass. Like one of the old school ones from 15 years ago. He said that when he was in the kitchen bending over opening the oven door. Someone threw it through his open window and it just went right up. I've been laughing at this for the last 20 minutes. Because honestly, how ducking traumatized would you be if that was true? Innocently bending over in the kitchen, whilst nude obviously, and a poop tea mid 2000s cordless phone hurtles up your butt ah -ah -ah. Had a guy with a screwdriver up there, handle first, he was honest, said the wife wanted to try something new. Why the screwdriver? Something shaped like a dick would have been gay. I always thought that was a real weird place to draw that line. I guess you could say he got screwed. So I actually once did fall naked in my bedroom and my ass cheek smashed hard onto the end of a small dumbbell that was angles up at 45 degrees. I'm coming to realize after reading all of this that had it hit the bullsey, no one would have ducking believed me. My cousin who is a doctor once told me that when you really do fall on something and it goes up there it's not pretty. There is tearing and overall injury. When there is no injury where it went in you know it was likely eased in and that's how they know the I fell on it story is bull poop. The funny thing is, the people who stick things up their butts for sure know this. Yet they still try to trick medical professionals into believing otherwise. My friend is a nurse. She told me about a guy who came into her. Uh, he claimed to have fallen out of a tree and a branch went right up his ass. They x-rayed him and he had this perfectly round wooden rod up his ass. When they removed it they saw that it was sanded, painted and primed. That branch must have come from a genetically modified species of tree lol. Crazy how the human body do that. Related. Guy puts a vibrator. One of the massive cordless one types. Wire air up there. Like a mega seed. And it gets sucked into the sigmoid colon. When he gets to me in the air I ask him how he was feeling. He answered. Well doc. I'm way better since the batteries died. Made my night. I've been trying to entertain the medical staff since my open heart surgery. Was having problems with low blood pressure. It hit 90 stroke 58. I got a ringing in my ears. Everything went red. And I passed out. Oh no. Yeah. But my carpet smells fantastic. Presented at her in Sydney with carrots stuck in the ass. Doctor. What happened? Patient. I heard a noise in the garden. Went to investigate. Slipped and fell over. Carrot went up my bum. Doctor. Carrots grow upside down out your way huh? Friend's mum was a nurse. A man came into her with a cucumber in his bum. Apparently he was vacuuming his fruit shop in the nude and slipped over. My sister is a surgical nurse and a guy came into to the hospital with a pool noodle shoved up his ass. It was so deep that they had to cut open his abdomen, intestines and colon to cut the foam out of him. He said he fell on it while swimming nude. But when they cut him open it had a condom stretched over the end of it. When they confronted him he said please don't tell me wife. Edit. Wow thank you everyone for the upvotes and awards. This is my sister's favorite or story to tell. She tells about all the things she's seen after she's had a few drinks but this one is the best one. At least he was practicing safe intercourse. Had this elderly guy come in with a cucumber up there. First month of residency. So my attending asks why did you put that up there? Guy. Dead normal. Says well it was just like every Tuesday. I woke up, made some coffee, and sat on a cucumber. Stifling laughter my attending just said. So you shouldn't do that anymore. He says okay. We removed it and never saw him again. For you. The day the cucumber graced your ED was the most important day of your life. But for him. It was Tuesday. Worked on ambulances. Not a doctor. Mostly bottles or vegetables. The aubergine was the biggest but potatoes and carrots seemed to be popular. 
ketchup, mayo and glass cola bottles were common at one point. Also one butt plug and a toilet brush. The last two were honest and very distraught. Others all had naked gardening stories. There's an even worse question you haven't asked which is for things people have shoved up their urethras. Only men in my experience. The best one I've heard is a priest who had peeled a potato and left it on the side for his dinner. He either decided to hang the curtains back up while nude, and fell off the stepladder onto it. It was in the UK paper years ago if I find it I'll post the source. What I love is that some poor bloke, just one, did fall on something naked and no one is going to believe him. Not quite the same. But I was in a lecture where someone asked a doctor the strangest foreign body he'd removed. And he said removing a whole carrot from a rectum was pretty memorable. Girl next to me piped up OMG. How did someone swallow a whole carrot? Double quote. Oh you sweet summer child. Worked with an ex-paramedic who told me a guy was cleaning his son's room while nude because his only set of clothes were in to wash while his son was at school. Slipped on a sock and ended up getting Buzz Lighty ear stuck up his ass I asked the important question of course where the wings extended he didn't answer but we both rocked with laughter. He had a friend in him. A glass water bottle in his ass and he's desperately trying to find an excuse not one would really ask at that point actually. He finally said, I don't remember who put it there. Couldn't you just fell from some stairs or something? A light bulb. You could always tell when someone came into the air with something lodged in their rectum because everyone would be standing around looking at the x-ray. It was still in perfect light bulb shape. I have no idea how the patient got it up there without breaking it. I'll tell you what they're bobo. Either the kids got a light bulb up his butt, or his colon's got a great idea. Dr. Cox. Ha. Huh, I just looked this up. And it was a real Scrubs quote. I'll honestly tell you that Scrubs really does a good job of portraying hospital life. Friend is a stomach surgeon so always gets called in to pull things out of asses. He has loads of stories but the one I remember is a guy who had a glass ketchup bottle up his ass. He'd claimed to have returned home with his grocery shopping. Realized he'd lost his key so put shopping down and attempted to climb through a high window. He slipped. Fell backwards ass first onto his groceries and shlum. The ketchup bottle just shot up his a-hole. Ignore that guy was presumably not naked at the time. After removing it at the hospital, my doctor friend said that's strange. The ketchup you bought is only half full. Right single quotation mark. I think the worst thing is that it suggests he was gonna eat the rest of it another time. Jack was nimble. Jack was quick. Jack fell while jumping over a candlestick and the doctor was like, Riiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiii
It wasn't a legend. In fact an entire chapter was dedicated to gentlemen with foreign objects needing removal from arse and bladder. Just reading bladder made me cringe. I don't know how anyone can stick things up there. My mom told me about this one when she was doing rounds in the air. Guy came in W a bottle of Worcestershire up his butt. Said he was making a sandwich in the shower and slipped and fell on it. I. Without reading any other comments. I will say that the overwhelming excuse my medical student roommates and myself. Who are all now doctors. Trained in Philadelphia. Have heard is. I fell on it. That's it. Nothing else. I once saw a dude with two dildos in his ass because he fell on the first one and tried to get it out with the second one. Phil strong. I was trying to pleasure myself. Anally. Probably too late. But there was guy had gotten a cucumber stuck up his ass. I was standing outside the room when I heard the general surgeon. An older Egyptian guy in broken English. Say hey buddy. Cucumber is for salad. As he walked out of the room. I lost it. Jesus Christ how many people just stick random poop up their ass? Edit. Apparently the answer is quite a lot of people do this. A whole lot of intercourselly frustrated kinky people caught up in the moment of getting their rocks off without actually considering the potential consequences resulting in having to go to the A4 extraction. Is my guess. My grandmother used to be in a nurse. Apparently back in the day. These kinds of stories were shared over fax. A hospital in network had a story about a patient CC was abdominal distress. Radiograph reveal odd radio passages in pairs about 3 stroke 4 of an inch apart. Docs counted 3-4 pairs. Couldn't figure out what it was. Exploratory surgery resulted in 4 Barbie doll heads in the patient's large intestine. After the discovery, patients stated that he had a fetish. He swallowed Barbie heads because he liked the way the hair felt on the way out. The radio opacities were the doll eyes. Apparently they used to be metal in the paint or something. Top comment after reading facts. Barbies are expensive. Did he recycle? Right double quotation mark. This is eerily similar to another comment on here involving Barbie heads. One in a million shot. Doc, I swear. 20 years ago, an ex was in a nurse. A guy came in with a magic mushroom air freshener stuck up in there. He was embarrassed, and did not even attempt to explain it. She said that when the doctor got it out, he said funny, it doesn't smell pine fresh, and everybody laughed. I am kind of surprised that didn't lead to lawsuit. Taking the doctor to court would have involved explaining to the judge what happened. Yes, your honor. After the doctor put his medical degree to use by getting elbow deep in me like Jim Hansen working Kermit. He made a joke and it made me sad. I'm a CNA and my teacher was an emergency room nurse. She told us some guy came into the air one day with an entire apple in his ass. Claimed he accidentally sat on it. You asked for the best but I have the worst. But possibly the most honest response I've gotten. I was an EMT and ran a call at a methadone clinic. She was a 28 year old female who had possibly OD'd. When we got there she was sitting on the ground completely naked. My captain asked what was up her ass to which I responded quickly as trash bag surface and reason there was a contractor bag jammed right up her anus. My captain ordered me to remove it and it felt like I was a magician pulling a bunch of napkins out of a dove. Or whatever magicians do. She looks at me without a word. Until I asked her why there was a trash bag up her ass. At which point she responded we didn't have a condom. This was my second week on the job. One of my colleagues is a surgeon who was called to the air to remove a pair from someone's butt at the bedside. He couldn't. In his note he documented that the attempt was unfruitful. Quite frankly I want to know how insurance handled these situations. My mum worked in emergency for a long time back in the 80s. And this is her favorite story. But it was a vagina and not a butt. A woman had used one of those wide, shallow face cream tubs as a diaphragm. Predictably it became stuck while doing the deed and she presented at the hospital fully honest about what she'd done. Anyway, 
they managed to remove it and then she asked for the tub back because it still had face cream in it. Asterisk. I mean, have you seen how much a decent face cream costs these days? Emergency medicine physician here. On the flip side, there is nothing more refreshing to us than when people come in and are completely honest. Patient, I like to put golf balls into my rectum sometimes and I can't remember if I put in 3 or 4 but I only got out 3. Me. Perfect. You have a problem that I can solve. Let me order an x-ray and see if there is one more that I need to remove for you. Sounds pretty much par for the course. This isn't exactly what you asked for but a family friend is an endocrinologist and a surgeon. He has his fair share of oddities they have to remove. But what stands out to me is that he must have a few cases of every year where the patient has no idea how the peanut butter got on their crotch or why the dog bit them. Way more common than it should be. I thought it was something out of the movies. The frequency of occurrence and confidence in lie always baffles me. A Christmas tree. Not a doctor. My dad's co-worker had to have an artificial Christmas tree removed from his ass. Getting decorations off the attic. Floor fell through. And he crashed through the ceiling and straight onto the Christmas tree. He had to be airlifted to the hospital. They said the pressure from his jeans getting rammed up there when he fell is probably what saved him from bleeding out. No I don't know how far it went up there and I don't want to ask. The one legitimate I fell on it story in the entire thread. Bro, you actually watched the whole video. I'd give you a high five if I was a human. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more great content. See you next time.